This outbreak here is believed to be more due to the CO type 2. It is the, the hemorrhagic fever, what we call a vascular leakage syndrome, and it comes about when you have been exposed to dengue more than once. Well, you may not know that you have dengue more than once because you can have different dengue serotypes. So dengue hemorrhagic fever is not a type of dengue. It is an outcome of multiple infections with dengue or repeated infections with dengue. And so therefore, in every dengue outbreak, there will be people who are prone to having dengue hemorrhagic fever. And, and that is not the majority of people, but it, it does happen. It is a known epidemiological fact that respiratory viruses spread more when you have school back. But also the adults, if you are vulnerable, if you're going out in society, and you know that these things are circulating, you should also wear a mask. And if you're going to visit people in a nursing home or any kind of institution, it makes good sense if there are vulnerable people there to wear a mask. I find that since COVID, we've been very individualistic. No one's really thinking about their neighbor, but in thinking about your neighbor, you may be helping yourself, okay? Because by reducing spread, it will then reduce the number of people who are sick and it may not spread back to you.